For a really simple dessert that is extremely elegant, you should try my poached pears and Shiraz wine. And it's the perfect season for them when in autumn, pears are at their best. So the first thing I'm gonna do is peel the pears. I'm gonna show you how easy this is to do. I'm gonna start from the top, and we're just gonna work our way down. Just do this nice and slowly, because we wanna keep that beautiful shape of the pear, because all we're gonna do is cut them in half. Okay, so we've got our five pears done. Before I continue prepping those, I'm going to start getting my beautiful syrup on. So I've got a nice large pot here. And I'm using, don't be afraid, I'm using a whole bottle of Shiraz. Because we want it to be quite deep and rich in flavour. And this has got quite a robust characteristic to it. And once it's cooked down, all the alcohol is going to be cooked off and we're going to left with this rich, sweet flavour. I've also got 200 grams of sugar. I'm going to add that to the syrup. Lovely. I've also got some orange here and I'm going to take two of the peels off and we're just going to add that to it. And you can see how simple this is. Now I've got some beautiful other aromats. I've got some star anise and cinnamon. Make sure you put this in and I use a stick and I break it. And last but not least, I've got one whole vanilla bean. So I'm just going to warm that up with my fingers to make sure we loosen up all those seeds and then get a knife and I'm going to cut straight down the middle of that. Okay. I'm going to take some of the seeds out. You see how many seeds we can get out there. That's beautiful. Look at that. Just by warming it up, you get the most out of it from the oils. So I'm just going to add that to our syrup. And that doesn't go to waste. We're going to pop that straight in there too. So we're going to get that nice and warm. We don't want to start boiling yet. That gives me plenty of time to finish off cutting our beautiful pears. So for the pears now, you can see I've left the stalk on. This is just for presentation. I think they look quite lovely if you leave them intact. So I'm going to cut them in half. Okay. And all we need to do now is take out the core. And I'm going to use a little melon ball for that. And that's going to give us that perfect circle. You can see how easy that comes out. And then all we do is pop them in our beautiful wine and cook them for 40 minutes. Oh, I can just smell, it just smells amazing already from that orange and the cinnamon. Because I'm cooking these pears for quite a while, for 40 minutes, I want to make sure that they're completely covered. And the best way to do that is with a piece of baking paper. And my little trick is cut a perfect square, I'm going to fold it in half, fold it in quarters, and I'm going to keep folding over like so to make a triangle. Okay. And what I like to do is measure it so you can see where the tip of that baking paper is. So now I'm going to cut about that much to make a perfect cartouche, what we call in French, which is just basically a fancy word to cover that. So then I get my knife and cut that. And look at this. Ta-da! Perfect circle. So I'm just going to cut a little section out in the middle, a little cross, just to make sure that it doesn't overflow. There's a little bit of air going through. And all we do is place that on the top like so. OK, so we're going to cook that now for 40 minutes on a really, really low heat. So my pears have been cooking for 40 minutes and I've just turned it off. I'm going to remove the cartouche and you can see how much the colour of the pears have changed. They're absolutely gorgeous. This is one of these desserts that I serve in the middle of the table because it's so dramatic when it comes. So I'm going to strain this lovely aromatic stock or syrup that we've been cooking for so long. And I'm going to reduce it by a third because we want it to be nice and syrupy and thick. I'm going to place that back on the heat. That should take about 15 minutes. I'm going to pour it over our beautiful pears. So this syrup is ready now. It's reduced by a third and you can see how 
glossy and thick it is now. Look at that. So all I do now is pull that over our warm pairs, like so. So they're swimming in the syrup. And just to take it to another level, to give it a bit of crunch, I've got some lovely walnuts which go quite well with pears. And all I'm going to do is just crush them a little bit. So I've got a clean tea towel here. And I'm going to put about half a packet on one side. Should be plenty. I've got a rolling pin. I'm going to fold that over. Just crush it a little bit. So we just want different textures of the walnuts. There we have it. And all I do is simply put that in the middle. And last but not least, it needs a little bit of cream or cheese. And I think mascarpone is the perfect match for this. So I don't put it on there because they're nice and hot. So it's going to dribble everywhere. So I like to just put it on the side. And everyone can help themselves to as much or as little as this. There we have it. That's my poached pears in Shiraz with some walnuts served with mascarpone cheese. That's a brilliant dish. One of my favourites, especially in autumn when pears are at their best.